All right, so I had a really quick question from Gangster's Paradise, and he was asking if you can put a BMS with a solar charge controller. Um, I'm just paraphrasing, but anyways, I'll explain this uh, to him really quick and anyone else that's curious. So these are various different types of uh, battery management systems or balancing systems. So this is a super cheap one and only has two two points technically other than its uh, cable harness and um, it's only on the negative side and you'll find that's true for every single BMS since it's already connected to the positive end through this wiring harness this monitoring uh, battery voltage monitoring and discharging harness okay so this one here which I have on right now so it's I've got two of them so see it's on here this one actually does have a charge spot so right there is where the charging cable would go so that would go from uh, that would go into the negative right so the positives all link together but the negatives is where they um, play around since that's the uh, that's where the electrons flow from um, the positive side is like a vacuum, it sucks up electrons, and then the negative uh, gives electrons. Just a simplification. Even though in wiring diagrams they'll do it the opposite way, but whatever. Um, yeah, so this one you do wire in your, um, you know, your charge con or, uh, solar charge controller. Uh, it would be so... You see this one is a little bit more, uh, yeah, this one has outputs, whereas this one does not. So let's focus on this guy, since he's really cheap and he does work. He only boosts, which is fine, that's good, that's why I got 60 in series uh, solar panels. Was because it'll boost it up to 29.5 or 4. So anyways, um, you'd have your solar panels going into here. And that's fine and simple. But then on here, so the positive goes to your battery positive, which for me would be this guy right here. You see a lot of stuff is connected all to one terminal, and that's pretty much standard no matter what. But the negative would then go to this part, this um, port here. And then your rest is normal, so battery negative. And then this is your output negative. So you'll see with this one, see battery negative goes, I put it, the shunt first, and then my breaker. Always make sure you have breakers or fuses on both your negative and your positive of your battery system. Um, you know, there's a lot of people burn down their houses and then people get the wrong idea and think that this is dangerous work. Well, it's only dangerous if, you know, you're, you're messing around without understanding like I see no one with drywall sorry to go on a tangent that has nothing to do with this nobody has drywall come on people put drywall up it's so fucking cheap seriously drywall is cheap put it up that way you don't have to worry it absorbs a hell of a lot of heat and fire I, I, I assure you drywall does save houses but anyways so back to it so negative would just go to your battery negative and then p negative is your output so that would be all these so my p negative goes to the bms negative now this is a bypass this just goes directly to the shunt in there so i always have a bypass to the bms for certain things like this right i want everything else that's like a low drain to go through the BMS, but this guy does his own automatic shutoff, so I don't want him going through the BMS. Uh, and then my charging input, I guess, it goes over and into there. But many, many of them do not have a charging. So you see this one, it does not have a charging port. Um, so it says that it can 60 amp charge 60 milliamp balance 60 amp discharge so basically your charge goes on to the exact same so um these two would be tied together and be the exact same so bms negative and charge negative 
would be the same terminal once I switch over to this really big BMS. And then your wiring harness, right? So that's simple. And some of them have a override on off, it'll kill all power. See if I if I flip this switch, everything turns off, which is pretty cool. And if I flip it back on, nothing happens. I have to be charging. See if I plug this in, turn this on. Okay, it's now charging the batteries, and then everything turns on again. Now, if I flip it off, turns off the BMS, which kills power because I'm running the lights through the BMS, not bypassed. Flip it on, there, it works just fine. So it's an interesting safety feature. I really, for the price, for 25 bucks, I do really like this BMS. 25 bucks is super cheap and you can upgrade it. So I have all of these that I bought and then I just, I soldered them in and I filled the entire circuit board up. Oh, wrong one. This one here, and you see all those MOSFETs in there. I filled every single slot with uh, one of these chips and that gives you more amperage. Now obviously you can't rely on that because the uh, circuit board can only handle so much. You know, there's, there's only so much copper on the surface of the uh, silicon. So don't rely on that, but I just did it out of interest. Plus I blew up a board. Um, wiring in my massive buck converter backwards. I will be converting this computer to, uh, you know, to a, uh, you know, runoff, fully runoff DC voltage using uh, this, this big buck converter. I only need 500 watts, and this is a pretty good gaming PC, but I just bought this monitor from MSI, and it has a 12 volt, 5 amp, battery or um, power bank on it so I can just run this directly like instead of running through this I can just run this cable right to my buck converter down here so I'm really excited about that I had to order all new parts because I um, I burnt up this thing by accident trying to run all the power for the GPU and the CPU through only one of these blocks so I ordered a whole bunch of parts for that so anyways um that's that's pretty much all that. That's way off topic several times. Sorry about that. But uh, basically, um, the solar charge controller and the BMS are completely separate items. Now, some BMSs you just tie your charge controller to the negative output. Right. This one goes to the battery, and then this one, this wire goes to you know whatever you want to power so this wire here would go to battery negative on this guy and like this one has its own output so you would run this negative to the battery negative and then the positive to the battery positive this goes the battery negative right so this is just in between the battery and your charge controller and then this one has outputs but this is a piece of junk uh, Make Sky Blue is junk. Everyone tells me it's junk. I have two people a month telling me on my videos how much they hate Make, Make Sky Blue. So anything, any charge controller that looks like this in any way, shape, or form, they're all the same. They come from the same factory. They don't make a separate factory to build different types that look identical. That makes no sense at all. They're all the exact same. They all came from the same factory in China. So just don't buy anything that looks like this. This one's fine, but it only boosts. So you have to make sure you have to learn your solar panel voltages and your battery bank's voltage. And you have to, you know, read up on it some more, watch some better videos about this guy. Because he has a lot of problems, but for his price, he's okay. As long as you understand the problems. So yeah, these are these are options that you can that you can buy. Oh, something was wrong with this. Okay. Huh. All right. Hmm. Great. Now I broke it.
Oh yeah. Okay. Pretty sure it's fine now. Hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure it's because I was using this power brick to charge up the wall, so something uh, didn't fully click. Uh, maybe that power bank's starting to die. I have used it pretty heavily. But anyways, yeah, that's just a simple answer for you. I'm sure it's far more complicated, but yeah, like uh, even this little bank here that I have, see the, the uh, BMS is here. And it's the same as this one, 4S, 40 amps, right? And basically there's your output, positive and negative. And then uh, the way they did this one is, you know, you wire in each, um, to each in series, each battery in series, according to the voltage is labeled, right? So pretty, pretty simple. See, this goes to negative, then to the first battery, the second, the third, the fourth, and then the outputs. And there's no, uh, the charging, if you want to charge it, you just, these are your battery outputs. The BMS is part of the battery uh, when you see units like that. And so these two have charging ports that are separate. This one, I don't even know if you can charge through it. There's no sure, and this is absolute garbage. Uh, but you get what you paid for, right? Those are the prices that I paid, anyways. And this guy, he was expensive, and I'll be pretty happy once I get him installed. But we'll see. The company that makes these, they seem to be really nice. I got it off Alibaba, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, the company that makes it, they seem pretty nice. They did a good job of um, their description page, lots of pictures. They seem pretty dedicated to making BMS's, which is really nice. Here's this thing. It's kind of interesting. It's a $10 MPPT buck. It's got all kinds of crazy uh, stuff going on with it. Um, I'm pretty sure all, yeah, all of this is linked in the description, so you can look through them. This one here, it says that it can charge batteries properly with CC first, so constant current first, and then constant voltage which is very interesting. I've yet to test it out, but for $3, doing 5 amps, that's very interesting. Um, you know, 5 volts to 32 volts, buck, all, buck it down to um, 30 volts, all the way down to pretty much nothing. So, and Then this guy, he's, he doesn't really, he's just a buck converter. So, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, I know this is really long, but it's unscripted, so... You know, rants will occur, but anyways, you just have to, uh, you know, you basically look at it and you'll be able to tell if you can plug directly in or not. But I would always um, put your solar charge controller through your BMS just for safety because the BMS will turn off if it notices a problem with the batteries. So if like, if this group here becomes lower than the others, it'll it'll turn off and then it'll prevent the solar array from charging but if you bypass the BMS then it'll just keep charging and it'll probably start a fire because your batteries are most likely to catch fire while you're charging the system up that's that's like the number one like miles ahead of any other reason that's almost always why um, a battery bank catches fire is during charging so um, just keep that in mind and use drywall use drywall all right thanks for the thanks for the question gangster paradise i appreciate it nice to hear from you again i also have this um i bought this it's pretty neat so uh, you just plug it in it's a little uh cell meter it also does servo motors but I thought that was kind of neat, so I bought it. It wasn't too expensive. I think it was like, yeah, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. I'm not sure if that's linked in the description or not. I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know how good it is. But yeah, I've, I've pretty much used this one's really shitty, but 
if you don't want to spend money, you know, 10 to 18 dollars, if you can get it for 10 bucks or less, uh, it's better than nothing. You know, put it in, don't be cheap. Always use a BMS. Please, always use a BMS. Okay. Uh, Jehu, he says he doesn't use one. Um, I really, really can't recommend um, listening to him when he says stuff like that. So, I mean, but it's up, up to you. And, you know, he's a big guy on YouTube, so whatever. It works for him, but um, obviously people's houses have burnt down. So would you really take the risk? Like, you know, 64 bucks, right? 10 bucks, right? This one, don't buy it. Don't buy this one. Um, it's uh, balancing is questionable. This one's really good. 25 bucks. You can't afford 25 bucks, right? You build like a small one, whatever. Even uh, this one down here, this portable one. You're telling me that 25 bucks, you can't afford to put 25 bucks into something like that? That's, that's a joke, man. It's a joke. This one here, like, it's got BMS. It's a 4S system. $3.50. You telling me you can't put a BMS in? Like, I'm not talking to a uh, gangster specifically. I mean, I'm talking to people in general that don't put BMSs in. You seriously, you, you can't afford $3.20? You can't afford... Three dollars and fifty cents. You can't afford twenty-five bucks, and you're and you're in this hobby. Can you explain to me why you would be in this hobby if you can't afford it? It's ridiculous. I know. At this point, I, I hope I'm not just preaching to the choir, and uh, someone hears this and then realizes, oh, he's right. It's it is kind of foolish to, you know, risk burning down your house or your vehicle because of twenty-five bucks or ten bucks, right? So, um, and you can just bypass it when you're discharging the battery, but when you're charging the battery, go through a BMS. It's not a big deal. So I hope that helps. Um, it's a little bit of a long video, but they're all long, it feels like. So again, I hope you're enjoying your summer, and I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks, guys. Bye.